Hi guys, welcome back to T8 Archery. Today we are doing a video on how to sight in a single pin bow sight. We had someone ask about it, and really it's a great question. I mean, I had no clue how to sight one in, and you know, I had already sh always shot with a fixed pin sight, but my friend had a single pin, and he showed me how. So that's how I learned, but I'm going to show you all how to do it today. So I am just using the AR-19 sight. We've already done a review on this particular site. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how it works. First, this here on the back. You see that? This moves up and down. And that's where you're going to be marking your distance as at is on this white piece of tape, which it did come with. It came with some have a bunch of little lines on them, but I cho chose to use a blank one. And then up here on the front, we have this. Now this knob right here is what you want to turn. This one just loosens it so that you can move it faster. But this one is going to move it left to right, all right? So I have no clue where it's going to land right now. First thing you want to do when you go to sight in is you want to take, mark out your distances from your target. Say you want to shoot 20, 30, and 40. You're going to want to mark out with a range finder or tape measure 20, 30, and 40 yards. So right now I'm at 20, I've got that marked out. I'm going to shoot, find out where it's landing, and then I'm going to adjust it. All right. All right. I've got one arrow down range at this point, but you always want to make an adjustment based off of at least three shots. Which at this point, the two I've fired are actually landing really close together, but I still want to fire three just to be safe. All right, they're all really close together, so I'm gonna take you down to the target and show you. All right, so you can see that what I'm aiming at is this right here, this brown spot in the center of this big white piece of cardboard. My arrows are landing low and to the left. So I'm gonna move my sight low and to the left, and now I'm gonna go adjust it. All right, so I'm right here. I've got this, which is the same spot it was. I was hitting low, so I'm gonna move that up a little bit and to the left. So I'm gonna move my sight that way. So I'm gonna take this knob here, the one I showed you earlier, I'm gonna turn it, and it does not move fast, so you're probably gonna have to turn it quite a few times with how far I was off. So that is probably getting fairly close. I'm gonna try it out now. At least that arrow landed in the center, but again, I want to fire three shots to double check. All right, I think I've got it, but I'm gonna show you the grouping. All right, so I've got one that's pretty centered in the dot, two that did hit to the left just a little bit, but I think I'm the right height. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to 30. I may still be off to the side, but I can also correct that when I'm back there, all right? All right, so I'm back at 30 yards, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a marker, and I'm going to mark well, we're sitting the right height for 20 yards. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that on the back of here. And my marker is not a very good color to see on the camera, but I'm marking that on the white tape. You probably can't see it right here, but marking that on the white tape that is on the back of that site. So that's my 20 yard. 
And now, I'm going to take this and move it up just a little bit for 30 yards to try that out, right? My first shot landed fairly close to center, but I'm gonna fire three. All right, so I think I've got it, but I'm still going to show you the grouping. All right, you can see my grouping might be a tiny bit high, but I'm not really sure if that was just me or the site. So I'm going to double check it, and then I'm going to tell you if I get it dialed in or not, all right? All right, I double checked my 30, and it was still spot on. Hit all three in the dot, so I think that a little bit high was probably just me. So now we're back at 40, and you can see I marked my 30. It's right there. So now we're back at 40 and I'm gonna move it up about that much and I'm gonna see if I can get that dialed in real quick. I definitely hit close to the dot, but I didn't hit quite in it, so I'm going to probably fire all four shots this time. All right, let's go look at that. All right, so it turned out arrow number four that went off by good ways. Actually, I had a fletching coming off, so I'm not gonna show you that one because it's kind of irrelevant. I need to fix it, but this is my 40 yard. Not too awesome, but you know, it's all right. I definitely need to shoot again just to double check it, but I'm fairly close. All right, guys, we're back at 40 yards and I am gonna see if I can put these in the center. That one definitely went really well. It's per not necessarily perfect, but pretty close to perfect in that center. So I think it's good. That one went pretty good as well. Though of course, this heaping sun is making it very difficult to shoot. I think I did pretty well. Let's see it. All right, that is my 40-yard grouping I just did, so I think I'm sighted in. And I'm going to go back to some further distances, but I'm going to try and hurry this up because the video is getting kind of long. All right, guys, so I've just finished all my sighting in. I was only able to go out to 60 yards with this, but I'm also only pulling 48 pounds, so that's not too bad. Yes, I can pull more, but that's just what I set this at to do this with. It's at 26 and a half inch draw. So that's a fair amount on the back of the site here. You can see that. Got each of those spots marked on the 10. Generally, I would sight in on the five or maybe on the yard, but I don't have that time right now. Um, one more thing I want to show you before we end the video is this right here, these bolts. Like if you start out shooting really low, you can move the whole site down. Or if you start out shooting really high, you might be able to move it up. Either way, that just takes an Allen wrench, so it's pretty simple. And make sure, if you like this video, to comment and like. So what you think of it, be sure to watch our other videos. Bye.